Hey, what's up guys? Tony here. Today we're taking a look at Apple's brand new MacBook Air. So in this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing and at the very end, we're going to take a look at some benchmarks. So let's go ahead and just get directly into things, starting with this tab right here. If my camera will focus, I don't think it will, but we're... Pff, it just breaks. Unboxing's off to a great start, but we're just gonna peel this outer layer off real fast and get right into things. So, just lifting straight up right here, very slowly. If it wants to go, there's a little bit of uh, compressed air or something inside, and I think we just about got it. There we go. Set the cover off to the side. This little tab right here in the front, we can pull up. And uh, very quickly, we'll take a look at what's in the box itself. Uh, you have your USB-C to USB-C cable right here. Pretty standard. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. There we go. And then underneath your informational packets right here is your charging brick. Yes, thank God we still get the charging brick with the MacBooks, but taking a real quick look at these pamphlets, uh, we got, well, I guess that's about it. Okay, look at that. We get some Space Gray stickers now. That's pretty cool. Uh, some legal paperwork, and we actually do get a fold-out little portfolio thing here with some setup images. So, Pretty standard stuff coming in the box. All right, well, let's go ahead and put this guy aside and get back into the main ordeal here, the brand new MacBook. So again, starting with upside down, we can just pull the sticker right there, slide it out of the sleeve, and carefully flip this guy back over. And uh, here is the moment of truth, guys. Wow, this thing is tiny. I heard... Oh, look at that. I didn't even press the power button and it just turns on the second uh, you open up the display, something like that. Uh, so I'll let it boot up here real fast, but man, I mean, it's got the same design as it did from years before. Here, I don't know why my camera is having so many problems focusing in this video, but I mean, it is incredibly thin, even way down here. It is a MacBook Air. Is the main language. Press the return key. Oh, okay. A little bit of a startup instructions there, but I mean, the design hasn't changed very much. The big new thing again is the M1 processor. So we're gonna quickly walk through the setup again real fast. And uh, then at the very end of this video, we're gonna take a look at some benchmarks. All right, so I went ahead and connected my external display with my capture card so you guys can easily see what's going on on my screen um, and in a little bit better quality. So uh, some interesting new little setup accessibility options right off the bat with Big Sur. Again, this OS just was released last week. Uh, I actually have it installed on my personal MacBook. Here, I'll enter my uh, password real fast. I have it installed on my personal MacBook, and just for reference, I'm coming from the 16-inch 2019 model, and so I'm really interested to see how uh, this compares to that model right here. It's actually this one on screen, um, because from some of the benchmarks I've seen today, uh, it stacks up pretty well, uh, even though this one has a dedicated graphics card. So again, kind of going through these on-screen steps, you can transfer data if you want, or just not now and set this up as a brand new Mac. Again, enter your Apple ID if you want to. Um, I think I'm just going to click setup later for right now, and we can just skip it. But I mean, for this OS running on Apple's own silicon hardware right now like it feels completely native it's super snappy i'll just go ahead and enter a username it should generate the account name and uh, we'll go ahead and add a quick passcode real fast so again just kind of breezing through some of these steps you guys can click customize settings over here or just do the express setup like i've been saying throughout this video so far i mean just how fast we're advancing to the next screen even with just the initial setup um, I'm going to turn off Siri for right now, but normally you could just leave that enabled. I think it's just going to ask me to set up, yeah, hey Siri and touch ID. You usually just click continue through these and go through the on-screen steps. You know, I'll do touch ID actually. Uh, the fingerprint sensor is right here. 
Um, it's separated again now. It's not all in one touch bar. Well, this is the model that doesn't have the touch bar, I guess. But um, a nice little button right here. I'll address my grip. Uh, I mean, pretty standard stuff so far. Don't really notice any difference. Um, choose light or dark mode. I actually like to go auto, and right now it's uh, 6 o'clock, so... Uh, we'll leave True Tone enabled, and that should pretty much wrap up the setup process. It's pretty standard now in Mac OS, but yeah, look at that. Just a couple things to configure, and we're already on the home screen. Not sure where my dock is. All right, so that was strange. Mouse is back now, so that was like about the only glitch that I've seen so far. Um, but yeah, I haven't even seen the new numbers and pages icons yet. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but this is Big Sur. Right off the bat, you guys will notice a bunch of new things. I love that we have a control center up here now. Um, but like I said, after the setup of this video, the main part of this video that I wanted to share with you guys is doing some benchmarks. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag my benchmarks folder. Uh, we'll get an idea. I'm copying from an, an NVMe drive to this internal drive. We're copying four gigs in less than a minute. Honestly, I thought this would have gone a little bit quicker, but... I do have Blackmagic downloaded, and we're going to do some disk speed tests here in just a second. All right, the benchmarks have copied over before we get into those. This is the overview page. We have the MacBook Air M1 2020 model. Again, it's the Apple M1 is the processor. It's an eight-core processor. The base entry-level model for just about a thousand bucks comes with eight gigabytes of memory. Uh, if you guys want all of the tech specs, I listed them down below in this video's description. Without further ado, let's jump into some of these benchmarks. All right, so first up, we're gonna take a look at the Black Magic speed test. I'll go ahead and pop this guy open. We can change the target disk to the desktop and start. Now let's take a look at these write speeds. Starting off pretty strong at 2400 Mbps. Uh, read is, wow, that's insane. 2600 Mbps, that's not bad at all. So a little bit of deterioration on the second run through on the write speed. Read somehow went up to 28. Write is idling right around 2200-ish. Read's going really strong though. Uh, this absolutely blows away last year's MacBook Air and MacBook Pro 13 inch. I mean, it is competing with last year's 16 inch entry level model. So speed tests are looking great on the hard drive itself that's in it, but really where this thing shines is in uh, CPU and GPU performance as well. So let's get into some of those tests. Let's start graphics. Let's open Cinebench and do this one next. Um, I guess this is kind of graphics and CPU. So we'll go ahead and run each test. I guess let's start with the CPU test and uh, let this render the scene here. So I'll be right back once this finishes up. All right, we're just about wrapped up here. And there is the multi-core score right there. It's 6577 on Cinebench. Let's go ahead and do the single core next. And the single core is 1464 with an MP ratio of 4.49. So it stacks pretty high on some of their other comparisons that they have right here as far as processors go. So I'm actually going to exit out of that application for the next benchmark. Let's just go traditional here with Geekbench 5. Agree to the terms and conditions. We'll just click later through these pop-ups and let it load for a second. Uh, and we'll go ahead and start with the CPU benchmark here. Wow, that finished up in a minute and 45 seconds. There's the single core at 1709 with a multi of 7594. I mean, that's just the incredible part about these processors nowadays. The tests have not changed too much from generation to generation, but they are just breezing through them now. Instead of them taking about three minutes, I mean, we're under the two minute mark by 15 seconds now. So for the next test, we're gonna do Nova Bench, and uh, I will go ahead and start this test. All right, let's go ahead and try to expand this window. Oh, I guess that's a good one. That's all four tests right there, four scores. CPU score of uh, 1147, RAM score 280, GPU score of 547, 
pretty dang good uh, GPU performance there. And again, really good disk core too. For the final test, I actually wanted to pop open Final Cut Pro. Now this test is kind of a throwback, but it's called the Bruce X test in 5K. Now I've seen a lot of people try to export 4K footage or 5K footage at various lengths, but this is a standard test that you can actually do on your own machine to kind of see um, how it compares. Basically you open up this XML file, it loads this project that's kind of overloaded with effects and stuff. And look at that, it's like scrubbing through this fine on the timeline. But to perform this test, the only thing you need to know is just click master file default. And then the second you click next here, start a timer on your cell phone. Uh, not, not yet, JK. The second you hit save, let's start that and see how long this takes. Boy, this is gonna be pretty quick. All right, so give or take anywhere between about 18 and 20 seconds to complete that test. I think that's the fastest I've ever seen it be performed uh, on a MacBook before. And again, this is the MacBook Air. This is not even a pro model. And uh, boy, that M1 chip really just shines in this. Uh, the very last thing I am going to stop my uh, screen capture software over here. We can disconnect my external display as we're kind of coming to a close in this video. I think I have all the applications closed. Now the last final thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, and I haven't actually seen this myself, is supposedly uh, like kind of your startup and then like resume uh, function is almost instant. So like the second you open the lid of the MacBook, the screen is supposed to turn on. So I kind of just wanted to see what this looks like. Uh, let's actually go ahead and test this out. I'll see if I can capture it on screen if I just kind of close it. Oh my gosh, so it's like next impossible to tell, but it is like instant. The second you crack the display, it's back on already, guys. Like all ready to go. I mean, that is quicker than my 16 inch MacBook Pro. That is wild. It's just like your phone pretty much when you just click the power button, it's back on. That is just, that is insane, guys. I hope you guys really appreciated the tests. Thank you so much for making it to the very end. Uh, let me know what else you guys would like to see from us regarding these MacBooks. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Definitely subscribe before you go, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.